Hello and welcome back. So now in this video we will add the shooting system to our enemy. So we will do the same thing which we did with our player. We are simply ray casting invisible ray from our main camera in the forward direction. Okay, from this main camera in the forward direction. So we will do that same logic for the enemy as well. So first of all right here we need to create a camera and let's name this as shooting area and we need to move the shooting area right here in between the enemy okay because he will be shooting right here from the weapon so make sure that it is in front of the weapon or somewhere right there okay close to the weapon so this will be the shooting area from here in the forward direction it will create an invisible ray and when they that ray hits the player then we will decrease the player player health okay and we don't have any health variables for the player but that is for the future we will add that in the future okay so now we can simply disable this for now okay because we don't want that shooting area camera enabled because we already have a camera now open up the enemy script and right here inside this header which is enemy shooting variable we will create a public float and let's name this time between shoot and let's create a pool and we will name this as previously shoot or you can name it as shot as well okay that's on you and after that right here we will create a public transform and let's name this as look point and after that let's create a public camera and let's name this as shooting raycast area just save this okay and in the unity now if you click on the enemy okay we need to provide the shooting raycast area which is this one shooting area so just drag and drop that in there and we need a look point and let me tell you about this look point if we focus up on the player let's create an empty game object inside the player and name this as look or you can say look point okay and simply move this look point to the player feeds okay somewhere right there so when the enemy come closer towards the player he will look to that point okay so if you move the look point right here and let me show you if the look point is right there and then the enemy approaches the player okay and this look point is up there then the enemy will simply look at the player like this okay so we don't want that okay we don't want the player to just lay on the ground so we will simply move this look point down below so when the look point is down below then the enemy will simply look at the player like this straight okay you will get to know this when we work on that okay so let me just undo this everything of the look point down below and the enemy to there now we have this look so click on the enemy and attach this look point right there so now we have the shooting area and the look point now right here we will say that if the player is in the vision radius and also in the shooting radius then what we want to do we want to simply start shooting the player 
Okay, so now we will create this function. So just copy its name and move down below right here. Shoot player, let's make this a private function. And right here, first of all, what we want is when the enemy is in the vision radius and in the shooting radius, we want to stop the enemy right there where he is standing okay so for that we will simply say enemy agent dot set destination and we will set the current position for the enemy so he will just stop on the position where he is standing and after that we want the enemy to look at the player so for that we will say transform dot look at and we want to look at the look point which we created so look point and after this now the enemy is standing on his position and also the enemy is looking at the player now we want some action some shooting drama so for that first we will check if we didn't shoot a bullet previously then we want to shoot so for that let's create a raycast by the name of hit and actually it's a raycast hit and we will name it as hit as well and then we will create a raycast from the shooting raycast area in the forward direction so for that we will say physics dot raycast and we want to create a ray from the shooting raycast area so we will say shooting raycast area dot transform dot position and in which direction we want the raycast to go in the forward direction so we will say raycast area dot transform dot forward and then we want to gather the information about the raycast okay what the raycast hit so we will say out hit okay this is this hit, that hit okay and then we want to add a restriction to the raycast okay we don't want the raycast to go in the forward direction in infinity okay we want some restriction on that as we add restriction on the player as you can see we have a shooting range okay so we want the raycast to go to that point to which the shooting radius is available so if you see the enemy script we have the shooting radius of 5 so the raycast will travel 5 units okay so now we are raycasting an invisible ray in the forward direction now we want to show that what this raycast hit okay we want to show that in the console so for that we will say debug.log and we will say shooting and what we are shooting for that we will say hit dot transform and we want the name of that object so we will say dot name okay so it will hit some target and we will then know that target information okay that target name and after that we want to end the shooting code so now we will set the previously shot equals to true and then we will use the invoke and the name will be the active shooting this is basically our function which we will be creating and then we will set time between shoot so it will fire a raycast according to this time between shoot so for example if we set this time between shoot to one second then it will fire a bullet every one second so that's why we are doing this right here now let's copy this and after this shoot player we will say private void active shooting and in here what we want to do we want to simply set the previously shot to 
false okay so now let me tell you how this all will work so it will uh, first of all the enemy will stay in their position and then it will look at the player okay that look point which we set in the beginning of this video and then it will we say that if we didn't previously shot then we want to shoot a ray cast and when we shoot a ray cast we will set the previously shot to true it means that now the shooting is done and then right here we invoke this active shooting in which we set the previously shot to false and now the enemy can shoot again because the previously shot is now set to false and we want to call this active shooting after every one second or two seconds you can set this time between short to whatever seconds you want okay so if you want to uh, if you want the enemy to shoot every second you can set this to one second okay so after every one second it will call this active shooting in which we are simply making the previously shot to false and when it comes false then the enemy will shoot again and then we will set it to true and after one second we will call this and then it will set it to false and then we can shoot again so it will just work in the continuously circle okay and in this way the enemy will shoot now if we save that and come back to the unity let me remove that click on this player we have the look assign the shooting ray cast area sign now if you see this time between shots or shoot let's make this 0 0.5 you can actually make this one second if you want but i just want it to be 0 0.5 so i will type 0 0.5 there and let's change this to debug mode and right here you will notice that when the enemy shoot one time this will be set to true and after one second uh, after 0 0.5 second it will set to false again let's just make this for now one so that you see how this will work okay let's play the game now as you can see we are outside the vision radius and the shooting radius now if we go inside the vision radius now as you can see it show right there that he is shooting the player after every one second as you can see after every one second it says that shooting player shooting player okay and now if we try to hit the enemy as you can see we are hitting the enemy i think the enemy collider messed up so we will fix that don't worry about that okay so now you know how this shooting works so now as you know that our enemy can shoot but he can't damage our player because we don't have any function for damaging the player and also the player can't damage the enemy so in the next video we will work on that we will allow the enemy to damage player and the player to damage the enemy so i hope you understand this video and with this done catch you guys in the next video